Hey, so in this video I will show you how to make pork rillette at home. For the meat we need pork belly and pork shoulder. And then on the spice side we need some nutmeg, thyme, and then salt, a bay leaf and lemon. And then you can also add paprika, mace, allspice and you need jars and a bit of water. For the first step you cut down the meat into cubes like one and a half centimeter cubes the important part here is not like the size per se it's more like that um, all the meat cubes are approximately the same size once you've cut them down the next step is then to put them into a baking dish do the first half then sprinkle on the thyme and also the bay leaf and the other spices and then put the second layer on top and now you can add a bit of water and cover the baking dish with aluminium foil and place it in the oven at 135 degrees celsius which is approximately 275 fahrenheit for at least two and a half hours but within those two and a half hours always look after the baking dish at like every 30 to 45 minutes put off the foil stir it a bit around um, check the meat and look that it's evenly distributed again that's what i'm doing here so every 30 to 45 minutes you do this and then once the meat is cooked you can take a spatula or also like a fork and pull it apart. I'm now doing it uh, by pressing it with a spatula. Um, it should be super tender and fall apart very nicely. After the first round of mashing, you can now separate the meat from the juices. Just get the meat out and make sure that you save the liquid. Put it into an extra container and also strain the liquid from the meat by pressing it a bit and then again it's time to mash the meat you can also use forks again uh, it's important you, you want to have it like a very fine not paste but you want to see the fibers of the meat and now you can add back some of the liquid and also add some lemon and the other spices like salt pepper and of course also the nutmeg i have like the the amount uh, in the recipe below but you can also do it just by seasoning to taste mash it again make sure that the spices are evenly distributed and do a little taste test i had to add some more salt and pepper also nutmeg and some lemon and again get back the liquid and make sure that it's not too dry it should be like a very like a, a spreadable paste actually at this temperature here you can see it looks a bit like tuna <laughs> um, but it's actually awesome rillette so now you can fill it into jars just make sure there are no no air bubbles within the jars and now it's time uh, to add the last remaining liquid and as you can see with the strainer i used um, there's now fat coming and that's important because this will seal the meat from the air and will help with uh, preserving the meat so no air can touch it um, so the shelf life is longer yeah and there you have it, your pork roulette. I now put it onto a piece of bread uh, with, with some mustard and some pickled onions. Uh, I think this will give a nice touch. Let's try it out. Yeah, I can just say it tastes amazing. Um, the lemon brings like a nice freshness to it. Um, it's really, really good. Uh, I can totally recommend it. The recipe, as always, uh, is uh, below the video. 
And if you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. And till then, see you the next time. Bye bye.